Thank you, Aaron. Well, with all this talk of fewer dollars for education, why is Texas ignoring hundreds of millions of dollars in federal funding? For months, Governor Rick Perry has refused to accept the money because of some very specific stipulations Central Texas Congressman Lloyd Doggett had written into the provision. And KXA and political reporter Josh Hinkle here live to take us through the steps of why Texas might lose out on this money in such a tough budget crunch for this education situation here in Texas. Well, we're talking about $830 million in additional funding. To put that into perspective, it could save about 8% of the proposed statewide cuts in education, something the governor and the congressman can't seem to agree about. Made worse by a certain Texas congressman who singled out our state for punishment in pursuit of his own agenda. Just days after his State of the State address, Governor Perry traveled to Washington to urge Texas' nine-member Democratic delegation in Congress to repeal what he calls the anti-Texas Doggett Amendment to the Education Jobs Bill. Congressman Doggett added that amendment to make sure Texas proportioned out the $830 million over three years, even though every other state will spend their own portions in just one year. In a letter to the delegation, Perry says asking him to authorize spending over three years would buy violate the Texas Constitution and Texas Supreme Court rulings that prohibit the governor from dictating future spending to current or future Texas legislatures, since those budgets are yet to be set. But state Democrats say his hands are not tied and he's just playing politics. Congressman Doggett's amendment requires that additional education money be used for education rather than for uh, trying to plug the state's budget hole. We also need to help school districts reduce their expensive in these tight budgetary times. Both sides have said they're willing to keep working on the issue. The state has actually filed a lawsuit trying to get the money. And just today, the Texas Education Agency Commissioner is testifying about the federal funds before the House Subcommittee on Appropriations. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.